Hello everybody, this is Mark Gaming Shark bringing you a video today on the Fish Fine Longlinger. Um, I just currently got enough Gilda to be able to get it. Um, it wasn't too bad. Uh, it's getting roughly about 30 Gilda a day. Um, just really powerhousing through there, stealthing, you know, being extra cautious. Um, and of course the other materials probably took about, I want to say about a thousand gold to get the other materials, probably a little bit less, anywhere from seven to a thousand um, gold depending on your server. Um, I'm currently on Ezzy server, so the prices on mine, and if I could actually hit a landing pad, that'd be great, but the prices on mine were, I want to say probably around 700 to 800 gold for me to uh, buy the other materials needed, and that's with making most of it. Um, so, you know, like, not parts that people are trying to put on the auction house to completely screw you over. Um, but these are just the ones that you can make on your own. You know, you just buy the the materials to make them and use the tin labor so it takes to actually make them. So as you can see here, the design is 250 Gilda Stars. Um, it's by far the best design you can get for 250 Gilda Stars. Um, the other, uh, depending on your preference, would be the uh, Galleon, which you can now upgrade to almost like crazy epicness, depending on your preferences. But now we bought it here. And we have it in my inventory, as you can see. So now we're going to be able to head back and go make this thing. Um, ever since I've been starting on Arc Age, uh, it's always been my need to get the fishing boat. Because, I mean, right now it's not technically the best thing uh, anymore. Or the best way to make money anymore. But... It by far is still one of the top ones, and it used to be the biggest sign of wealth in the game. So basically, if you had a fishing boat, you were like, top tier, don't mess with this guy, because he's got a fishing boat. Um, fishing boats are very attacked, I'd say, in the open ocean. You tend to not see them a lot anymore, um, probably because they're very distinguishable um, out in the open seas, and... If you do happen to kill um, the crewmen on there and get all their fish, it is an extreme payoff. So right now at this point in the game, there is quite a bit of uh, pirates out, um, especially on Ezzy server here. There is um, a significant amount of pirates uh, just chilling around um, looking for that. But if you're on the coast, uh, typically you will be fine to be able to, um, I guess I have to plant in deeper water, Let's see if I can put it out there, alright, and as you can see that's the dock, um, with that it does take 15 gold just to place the dock, um, for any materials you know you may need, um, to be able to build the dock is an entirely different thing. You will see if you come up here to it, you can hit G if you have a lumber pack, which we're going to go get here in a second. But it does require two lumber packs, two iron packs, and two cloth um, packs, basically. So basically, once you have all that, they're not too bad. Um, I know on Ezzy server right now, uh, lumber packs, maybe about 20 gold. Um, same with, uh, fabric. Fabric may be slightly more expensive, and then, uh, iron ingot, a hundred of them is basically nothing. It's extremely cheap. Um, we will go over here to the sawmill, and we will make a, a lumber pack. And you will have to do this one at a time. You can have 
multiple friends uh, come and help you to speed up the process. Uh, currently my friend that was helping me do the Gilda runs for this is not currently on. Uh, so I will have to do this one by one. As you can see, did take exactly a hundred. Um, that's for each pack, basically, to build it, and you'll have to do it one at a time, uh, slowly but surely. And then the other items that you may notice that you will need are, if I can find them in my inventory here, I believe it may have already took my items, because I'm currently not seeing them. It looks like it did take them. Um, so basically, uh, if you look on the Wikipedia page, you can see the different ones. The most expensive, of course, being the solid shaft, um, requiring two thunderstruck trees and a sunridge ingot, which thunderstruck trees have went significantly down in price since launch, um, of course, since uh, Artium trees came out. Um, but the difference is basically that the Thunderstruck trees are uh, roughly anywhere from 210 gold to about 250 gold a piece, and then your uh, Sunridge ingots are probably in the neighborhood of 120 to 150 gold. Um, they tend to fluctuate greatly. Um, same thing with Thunderstruck trees, um, especially now with just the launch of uh, the new kind of little mini patch. Or, well, it's not mini patch, but it's a huge patch with the new pirates and everything. Uh, Dread Prophecies. There is a, a large number of players actually coming back to the game. So as you can tell with that, it's flooding the market with a little more items than uh, usual. So it it's a really good time if you're if you are returning to just make that as well, um, or anything that you've been trying to make, you should really try to like go hard and just try to get that because right now are some of the best prices that you will see probably in a while because I don't think they will go much lower. Um, you would be extremely lucky to find any lower than what they are going. Of course, if they decide to randomly throw a wrench in the system again, like they did with the Artium trees with a 10% chance on final uh, tree growth to become Thunderstruck. Um, because at launch, Thunderstruck trees uh, were probably about 1,300 gold, and now they have dropped so significantly um, because of that, but as it, everything else um, that used to be worth money, or after since that update, shortly after launch, um, prices really haven't fluctuated too much. There is still a very uh, good amount of money for everything else, and the prices really haven't changed. Um, I was buying some chop produce to do different things, and they're still about 20 to 22 gold. Um, per thousand to be able to buy them. And if you are planning to do this method, um, this is on the east side, of course, since I am a Fearin or cat person, as I like to say. Um, you will, uh, the most, it will take roughly about 14 minutes if you come from Madavi here. Um, but it is very simple. Uh, to do. Mostly because if you plant in this region, you can, it is tropical, so you can put down a large farm and just plant bananas as I've done, and you will harvest tons of bananas in a short amount of time. Uh, the, with the climate being correct, it will put down your bananas to be able to harvest every 10 hours. The uh, chopped produce, you can, if you have another large farm or you bought it from somebody, you can plant different uh, sources down there, you know, like potatoes and stuff, and chop them and then chop produce. Or you can just buy them 
if you do what I do, um, which is what I've done. Um, because in between my Gildo runs, to be able to afford some of the uh, money, I... If I can find the correct uh, location here. I don't think it's here. But if you do find the correct uh, location, you can basically just plant those as well and get the money. Hmm, I do not I do not know if there actually is a thing here for this. Hold on, metal iron pack, yes. I guess I overlooked that, but um, if you are doing that, uh, that is probably the best way that you won't really lose out on money. Um, I did go to Two Crowns um, a lot during my free time, uh, or to try to get money, as I was saying before, um, just to be able to fund a lot of the things. Uh, making successful trade runs to two crowns is very profitable. You get roughly uh, 12 every run, and they're currently about 1.1 gold apiece uh, on Ezzy server, that is. Um, especially with the ports, uh, the new expansion of Dread Prophecies, and all the new boats and upgrades you can do with them, they do use uh, charcoal charcoal stabilizers that is um, very often and they almost get bought out immediately so they are extreme profit to be done right now if you do happen to have a, a merchant schooner or if you do not like me just go on a a simple clipper um, even you can upgrade your clipper now to make it even better you know with new sales and uh, the propeller, which basically gives you a whole new uh, speed increase to your ship. Uh, it makes them very, very nice and still one of the fastest ships. Under certain set circumstances, the galleons can be quicker if they are in the right directional towards uh, north and whatnot. But you will rarely, if you do happen to have the propeller on the clipper, you will rarely be caught unless, of course, you're just not paying attention and run straight into, um, you know, an enemy ship of some sort. Or just pirates in general. Normally, in the open seas, you're not going to run into reds that are just general reds. It's reds that are pirates. And typically, if they see somebody that's red, they don't they don't care if you happen to have a pack or do not have a pack. They will just try to kill you. So, it is... For a few days, it was very difficult to be able to go to Friedrich. But, um, a lot of the times, especially with this expansion, uh, or I, I should say patch... Uh, it's very difficult to go during, or you would not want to go to Friedrich at all during times where the gold trader is now appearing. I know it's very profitable if you do happen to make it, but you would have to have a large guild, um, or at least five people of high skill with high gear to be able to su successfully make it to Friedrich. Um, even me not going for gold... Every time I went during that time, it was just chaos because because the gold trader was there and it is so profitable. So and it's near impossible um, to go with a schooner at all during that time. And then the other time uh, would probably be close to or around the time when the kraken does appear every day. Um, I am currently on the east coast, so. It is about 5 p.m. here every day is when it does appear. It is uh, 
everybody's you would think everybody's going there and just trying to get those packs and going to be distracted but that is not the case most of the time there's always people that try to camp out there especially if their side is losing they will try to camp out there and whenever the kraken is destroyed the pieces people tend to go in large ships um, all at once to Friedrich so they may try to have their guild camp out and just wait to be able to turn in those trade packs which are very profitable um, about 70 gold a piece but the Kraken can be it, it can be a long shot sometimes I've seen the Kraken be in the Kraken fights are alive for roughly uh, four hours and then other times people kill it in about 45 minutes it really just depends on how many of uh, pirates are there or the enemy faction because uh, typically people do not do not care so much about the Kraken at this point I mean it is a profit wise okay thing but I mean you can make more gold in that amount of time doing other things with your labor but people really like to just kill people I guess and get honor points um, during that time so like if two red chips are there and then you have three greens they will definitely just try to chase around the reds and kill them or vice versa you know like if you're even trying to kill the kraken the reds are gonna come and try to kill you and then you'll die and then you'll have to go back and forth so that's when it can take a significant, a significant amount of time. But the Kraken, in my opinion, isn't really worth it unless you're in-game with a lot of in-game gear. Um, and in-game in this is typically if you have like celestial or divine gear is considered in-game. Because of the regrade chance on each item whenever you're upgrading once you get past um, a certain level I believe it's unique you have a chance to epically fail and destroy your item completely so it's it's a very high luck game to get it past that um, as far as items go the typical items that people tend to have like even the best of the best people is divine but the the best uh, I've seen since the ships have came out um, since the regrade scrolls are about seven gold on Ezzy right now a piece and I have seen somebody make uh, mythic sales already so I would say it's a lot easier to do ship upgrades than to do gear upgrades um, also a lot less risky because it is less money that you're potentially losing I know for like green items right now on Ezzy like an obsidian green of some sort is roughly uh, anywhere from like 400 gold to 800 gold and you can get all different kinds of things and then it just goes up depending on the the upgrade from there you can get all different kinds and that's green you know is super low level so regrading and whatnot but as you can see here now that we are getting back on topic um, this is the should be the final pack to be able to complete the fishing boat here as you can see it is coming along I don't exactly know why fabric needs to add this little part up here <laughs> and apparently it's missing wood but fabric's gonna complete it but it is very cool design to be able to complete that there is I think it's one of the coolest boats in looks just because it is very unique compared to the other boats and it is it also comes with three trade pack storages and you can have six small or medium fishes in the main uh, kind of hold, the fish hold of it. And then two large 
fish on the back hooks if you would like those. So if you are going out on runs, it can be very profitable, and also the more people that you tend to have, the better. Um, as you can see, we have just finished it. We will get a little st stroll around here and see if we can get a view of it for everybody. And as you can see, that's what it looks like completed on the dock. Those would be the two hooks where the large fish would be held. Um, the main fish hold is right here, and then the three trade packs are just on this little side over here. And we are going to collect it here and see what we can do. As you can see, it launches off the dock just like in real life, as any ship would and launches into the ocean all nicely. Some nice fireworks, as you heard, launched out. And now it, it, it is actually in my inventory. So I'll drag it here and replace this little, you know, the rowboat that nobody cares about. And just walk up right here. It's very easy um, compared to, like, clippers where you have to grab on kind of thing. Um, you can just grab on if you, you know, get too far. As you can see, the little... Uh, exclamation marks pop up. This is basically just where you would drop it in. It, you can see the little trade packs. You can store the fish right here. Um, the trade pack icon and then these are the actual trade packs for each one. As you can see it has three. It is very nice. It has a nice little harpoon also on the front so you can I guess harpoon other ships if you would like. It wouldn't be too advised on a fishing boat because of the repair cost. You could do it a lot better with just the clipper. Um, it's a lot faster, which means you could uh, basically slow them down if you backed up better on that. But as you can see, it's called the Fish Find Long Linger. Um, I am part of Dark Legion right now. Um, despite their name, they are actually a friendly to Green's Guild. Um, as you can see right here, you can look into this. It will take your mini-map and have a circle where you actually will find the fish. Um, it will tell you any in your current area, if there are any. And then you can go towards it. Currently in this small area that I'm in, since I'm so close to the shore, there's no uh, fish in the area. So we will just log on here and we can see the the first ability right now is uh, for wind this is typical for a lot of the ships uh, it takes advantage of the wind briefly just to increase speed you would typically want to save that you want to just want to use that to get somewhere quicker you would want to use it if a ship is coming towards you and you want to get away quickly because this cargo hold is extremely valuable and with the amount of money you put in, along with um, the different things you can store in here, uh, it could be very risky to lose. As you can see, quick turn, this is the same as the, quick, uh, the clipper as well. Uh, basically, will allow you to maneuver very quickly if you're trying to go through uh, the different areas, like up towards rocky areas is very good to use. And then if ships are coming directly towards you, you'd want to pop that and then maybe the R as well to be able to quickly turn around and go the opposite way. Um, owner's mark, of course, you just want to pop that. Typically anytime you want to, uh, anytime you get on your ship to begin with, you want to pop that. Uh, it is and will remain gray until you actually get off the steering wheel and then it will activate for two minutes. And so it can be useful if you're close and you do die and you're able to get back and save your ship within that time. Um, but most of the time it's it's basically used when unloading uh, packs because you don't want to be unloading a ton of fish or trade packs. And then somebody just comes up and takes your entire boat and goes somewhere else and potentially even destroys it. Um, you have the lower crane here, and we can also just show that off right now. This is basically for the ship. You can just, whenever you do get the large fish, 
you can lower the cranes um, if you're if you do not have large fish or anything and then raise them if you do happen to have them to be able to place them on there all these other ones are just my fishing rod as you can see um, you can get different kinds of fishing rods you know which you will need in different lures and bait depending on what kind of fish you're trying to obtain as you can see right here we do have a different components basically um, there's not too much you can change on the fish fine um, and there's not too much you would actually need to um, these trade packs right here are the lowest tier uh, so they are a thousand kilograms um, they are fairly weighted so the lowest amount ones or the lowest weight ones that you can get are 600 kilograms so you may want to upgrade those just to make your ship a little lighter that will in turn make your ship faster the fishing boat is currently slightly below the clipper um, in speed about uh, 10 to 10.1 um, meters per second it can be uh, improved as I said with uh, getting better uh, trade pack storage you know lighter ones to improve speed but it will still never catch up enough to the clipper so if speed your thing you know clipper is definitely that way to go um, you know you have the basic harpoon it's not really useful a lot of people like to use it you know do little trick things um, shoot it in the rocks and grab on the land and whatnot um, as you can see too with the custom components right now you cannot do it um, the only place or location where you actually can upgrade your ship is here in Solus for the east and it's in Austeria it's in this basically this whole little green zone you can some of your ship upgrade it take parts on and off and regrade them if you like to higher tier ones and I'd say that's about it for this episode. Um, I will be bringing you a lot more Arc Age videos since apparently there seems to be not that many or not that many in general just at launch or for this game much. And a lot of people have left since then because a lot of their friends have just stopped playing. But I thoroughly enjoy this game and I will continue to bring you updated content for anything you may need. Um, if you guys want to leave a shout out of anything you may want to see done, um, definitely put that in the comment section down below. And if you do like this video, just give it a like, uh, maybe subscribe. Uh, anything, again, that you may want to see, just leave a comment and I'll be happy to try to work towards that or to try to show you a video of some uh, guildmate or friend that I have that may have that particular item or way to obtain that item that you may want. And that's it for me. Have a good one.